Howdy y'all, round the wheel here, and today I'm gonna whip out my big black deck. Plus one joker slot for a total of six, assuming no negatives. But you get one less hand every round. Some people really don't like the black deck, but I consider... I consider having one less hand to be not quite the disadvantage that some people would argue it is. But we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do with it. So we get a sixth joker slot, as you can see, which can which can really ramp up the possibilities. Oh, speaking of cards, did you hear they're making a Monty Python secret layer for, for all you magic heads out there? I'm only fine with it if John Cleese doesn't get any money from it. Hey, hi, how you doing? A polychrome even Steven. $9 and I have $9. Well, I think I'm going to spend every last penny I have on that. Thank you very much. It's always nice to have a polychrome, a polychrome right off the bat. Cards played previously this Annie are debuffed, which is why I skipped that one. Actually, I skipped it because I wanted the holographic tag. So uh, we've played some hearts, so we should probably go for a different flush or even a two pair, maybe. Um, but no, the flush is what brings in the real money. So let's do that. Yes, please. Evens, evens multiplying. Steven already pulling his weight. Here we go, buddy. All right splash every hand plays i'm mostly going to be playing flushes so maybe not the biggest but hey we've already got a holographic splash that's a shiny splash uh permanently gain one hand that would negate the disadvantage of the black deck so i kind of feel like i want to hang on to my money and see what happens after you defeat the boss get 25 dollars. we haven't leveled anything up yet so it's good to see the arm early on i like that after defeating the boss blind, get some money, get some money. We've got a good multiplier situation, so I think I'm going to skip both blinds to really start moneying up here. And let's go ahead and go to the arm. And that keeps us from having to worry about leveling up our hands. So, all right, give me, give me the flush. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love to see it. There's the good molt, and we've got the fire. Got through it in one. Man, we are making quick work of these antis, but now we've got the money to really flash our cash. And we have more incentive to skip blinds because we've got another great multiplier right here. Oh, well, I thought that would stick around for one more round. I miscalculated how that would happen. But now that we're past the arm, maybe time to start thinking about what we might like to play. Uh, neither of these are really up my alley except for i think in the absence of anything else i'll go for a straight uh but that does take some okay oh and plus 12 if we play a straight so maybe that's the maybe that's the hot the hotness i'll try it i'll try it. i'll see if i can make straights happen but without something like forefinger or or shortcut that can be kind of difficult at times Let's go ahead and add to our chip count. Let's see what we're doing so far. Spades and popcorn. If I were playing, I'd probably go for this if I were playing checkered deck. We're not there yet, though. So the needle, we can only play one hand. And with all the multi multipliers, multipliers we've got going. Okay, so we might want to go for a straight. I feel like, okay, gives a free standard pack and a free mega celestial. So let's see if we can, I'm going to skip blinds again. I'm gonna skip blinds again to get that uh, to get that pumped. Let's go for it. Um, so yeah, we either want to discard this or keep it in hand. Creates a tarot. I think I'm more interested in a re-triggering six. Plus, it's closer to. It's hard to say what to take when you're going for straights. I kind of like these middle of the road cards when I want straights because I think they play best to both ends of the spectrum. Although an ace can play well to a face card straight or an ace two, three, four, five. So really, it just depends on what you think is easiest to get on both sides of. And for me, it's something like this. Oh, we get two. So in that, well, I might as well take the fun one. Uh, though another ace, um, no, I'll, I'll take the big shiny. Plus, it's 50 chips, so uh, there's actually some incentive to play it, too. Uh, let's take the Mega Celestial, see if we get anything good out of that. Another straight, another straight, but nothing nothing flush-centered just yet. I'm going to go ahead and take High Card. 
Uh, and if this is the end of the run, I'm going to be very sad, but... Okay, well, we've got a flush. 2.25, plus 12 per straight. Every card counts in scoring, and we want evens. We got three evens right here, so... I think maybe, despite leveling up our straight, we want to go for the diamond flush. Uh, here we go. This might be a kind of a low score, but I think we can get past it with this. The needle is always a scary one to me. There we go. Okay, we more than handily did it. Two and a half times over. Okay. There we go. That's what we want to start. Seeing. There we go. Now maybe we can bear in on a straight build. Although flushes. I also like flushes. But let's see what the... Let's see what this has to say. Okay, flushes are easy. Straights are easy. We only need four cards to make a straight. And we're already going pretty hard on it. But I want flushes to be effective too. So I may just go alternating. So yeah, Jupiter's in this one. So that validates my plan. Buy the blank voucher. I think I'm pretty close to unlocking whatever buying a bunch of blank vouchers does. Um, Yeah, let's have it in our back pocket. Why not? And then next round. Let's see. Next round. Next round. So we got a 2.25 molt going off of throwback. Upgrade two pair by three levels. Well, I mean, that's a four card hand too. So, ooh, I should be on the lookout maybe for a square joker. That would be very interesting as well. That would make two pair also incredibly viable. I'm going to go ahead and take this blind. Wow. Just drop the flush in my lap, why don't you? fantastic but we still get a card so we can make four card flushes and straights but we can still get you know good stuff okay okay like this and we do have a sixth joker slot so hard for me to resist uh hanging chat anytime i see it it is by far my most played joker uh let me see yes <laughs> 308 times the next most is misprint uh you can tell I like the I like the chaos that that has to offer. So, yeah, I am definitely I am definitely a hanging Chad. The hanging Chad versus the Virgin misprint. Let's see. Uh which one of these do I want? Uh mm, Arcana is not really interesting to me right now, so I'm going to skip and go on. We didn't get the we didn't get the the uh the uh let's see we didn't get i am gonna do this just in case square joker pops up later i know i'm waiting for like one joker out of a possible like hundred some odd so but that does feed into throwback so i'm here for it uh first hand is drawn face down so what we'd want to do is maybe play this first one see what it does for us oh it turned out to be a straight nice okay well, we might get out of here in one. Wow, I don't know if I've ever done that with the house. That was wild. Okay, I like what we've got. Oh, I like what you're. I like what you're showing me here. I do like all this molting. This is a chip type of thing. Plus twelve for a straight. We're not always playing straights, to be fair. I'll say what we do need is this mega celestial pack because it will give us one of each of what we need and that will make the choice to stay with a straight build or a flush build even more tempting flush might be the backup hand because okay especially if i decide to go with this tarot cards appearing don't care i'm going to the runner might pop up again later i that was a mistake i didn't get anything good i don't even have like the two pair viable option um let's go pair i guess that's never happening so i guess we just like okay next one's foil next one's negative we're definitely going to be skipping that i don't care so much about it well if i skip both it becomes foil and negative and i get times three multiplier so yeah skip 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 to Malu. here we go Five, six, seven, eight, nine, right in the lap. You love to see it. Boop, 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 beep, beep, bop, bop, boopy. There we go. Done and one. We're already on anti-six. This could be... 
This could be one of the shortest runs there. Okay, we've got some incentive to play spades now. I thought it would be negative. Okay, I thought it was going to be negative and foil. Oh, well, well, then I don't give a shit about it. Um, well, the next one will be free and negative. So if I re-roll and there's a joker in there. Ah, you make that. This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh my gosh. And you make this one free. You are mean game. You are mean, 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 mean and cold. I think plus 12 is not a crazy molt. Um, I'm going to get rid of it because uh, I want the chip count to start going up. That's going to incentivize us to play four card straights, four card flushes. Very pretty. Very pretty. Not what I wanted, but very pretty. Okay. Playing a flush sets money to zero. Perfect. We don't have any money anyway. So let's free mega buffoon pack. No, we don't want that. Okay. So we're going to start playing hands now. Nine, ten, king, ace. All right. Yeah, we'll see if this gets us. I don't know if this will get us out of here in one. Well, it might. It's 20,000 chips. We've proven more than capable of reaching that so far, although we did not get it. So let's go for the heart flush. There it is. Um, and then just play this because it scores. Remember, we have splash. So, oh, but yeah, I need, I need it to be exactly four cards to play into so square joker and splash are actually kind of at odds with each other i have to decide whether i want to hmm i don't know that i actually need this come to think of it um now i may be regretting my build a little not like a whole lot obviously but uh planet cards appearing more frequently in the shop i kind of like that but i feel like this is a quick and dirty get it done kind of run so let's just do the best we can with what we've got and here's our backup 100 yeah i did go 100 with it and it's exactly four cards so so like take the four if we can get it i suppose but don't feel bad if we have to score off of splash like with here a straight is a very high hand Hmm, but how much am I really getting off of three? So make it happen. What? Yeah, why not make the square joker? Yeah, the play. Okay, so we're kind of out of fire territory. Um, Doubles all probabilities listed. Is anything here probabilistic? It is not. And I don't know. We're having a pretty easy time getting money. Let's see. What do we? Well, here we go going in for straight that's what we want next round okay yeah we should have tried to spend as much money as we could have but instead we'll just play it straight if we can um two three four all right bop 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 discard uh nine ten still don't really like it give me something better thank you two three four five yep not gonna be not gonna be forty thousand off the bat. Now how now how okay we're still not doing bad. Seven and eight might get scary if we don't start playing good multipliers. Two pair yes okay okay this is gonna give us some good money. So I don't think we played a flush. I think it's when you play your most played hand is what the ox goes for. Which surprises me that that's not straight so far. Ah, what a nice reward for not playing a flush. A flush level up. Okay. Plus one card slot available in the shop. I think so. That should refill the shop for free. Okay. All right. Is there anything better we can do here? Aha. Here we go. Any, any molts? Not really. Okay. That's a conditional molt. And I would have to play four evens to get it but i am getting i am getting times 1.5 off of it i'm a little sad to ditch a polychrome but i think i'm gonna just because cavendish is like pretty reliable this is not cavendish this is gross michelle maybe it will become cavendish later though um okay i think i think we're doing pretty okay so far mm, one more reroll no tarot's have been used this round. Plus one discard. Mm, no, let's hang on to what we have. The wheel. 
and then some freebies okay yeah we might we might skip for the freebies but let's see what we're, we've got going here night and let's go for a high straight if we can that is not a high straight that can be a high straight eight nine ten jack we're not skipping and we want to put this one first to trigger it off hanging chad hooray there we go all right feeling still feeling pretty okay um maybe just the slightest bit nervous okay okay this is this is something we can do uh first of all let's let's spend some money to make some money i'll take that that seems tempting because we can start adding standard packs uh-huh planet uh well yeah see what planet we can get sat yes thank you everything everything gets a boost from the black hole black decks black holes it's just that kind of day you know so okay now to think i think well getting rid of another multiplier is kind of scary but this isn't really adding a lot of chips to our account maybe not as many as i would love so i think i'm gonna go ahead and ditch it and do this here we go okay open a pack start adding cards there we go okay um a lucky queen how about doesn't really matter what we add as long as we're adding it and we may need this for a last minute multiplier or something so i'm going to skip this blind for some freebies and hope that one of them is a standard here we go all right six six nine nine um pretty solid and let's throw in the ace as well we'll toss it in at the end i i like that okay let's do it okay i think this is a little more reliable what we're getting here uh ooh, this could be a seven where does it go in the order okay it's definitely a diamond whatever it is uh rank amount we got a flush Ooh, this is either going to be an eight a six or a seven and i don't know that i am okay with whatever it is um okay that was a bit of a that was a bit of a silly little discard uh what are we close to we are close to a straight so we want to get rid of maybe these only two discards to make it happen cap'n six eight nine jack otherwise we're playing high card let's get rid of everything low and see what happens seven eight nine jack no okay so i don't know what's kind of Ooh, gosh only two hands left this is where you start feeling the squeeze of the black deck i'm kind of tempted to play what's a pair worth right now 40 how close are we? we're fairly close okay let's play it and i hope i get a straight otherwise this is effectively over so how far will this get me 8600 okay 899 a two pair okay this could be not so bad but i think we're going to have to do this just to make it over the hump there we go fabulous okay and our banana remains unspoiled who making me nervous making me nervous going into the final final bit here this could be pretty handy uh but no okay plus one round there we go we are going to negate the disadvantage conferred by the black deck so everything here is free uh a flush is not so bad if we have to do that though i think a straight is still stronger much stronger as a matter of fact good good although two pair is no slouch either if we were to have to do that uh this is free so we might as well uh let's see what we get out of it molt cards i don't want to rely on the high priestess's luck so i'm just going to make two molts we're going to need all the help we can get going into anti eight and this is free so we might as well take it for a backup hand erosion not helping turtle bean not helping let's see what a reroll has to offer okay all right maybe maybe some fun on the wheel 
Nope. No fun on the wheel. We have entered the no fun zone. So, aces. Okay, okay. There's a last minute rush of hope. Times, times, times. You know the times, molts. They're hot, but... Is this mattering a whole lot? Maybe in some instances. But... <sighs> Getting down to your final hand can be so stressful. I don't know that I want to do it. All cards are debuffed until a joker is sold. And I think I know what I might want that one to be. That's a bad level up. That's not a bad level up. And it will be helpful going into the final. So let's just play the small blind. The small blind is pretty easy to clear, especially when they dump practically two flushes in your lap at once. So let's do it. Perfecto. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Still pretty good. I think we're fine. We just have to sell a Joker. Which isn't, you know, the worst thing ever. Let's go ahead and do this as a... Well, no, there's no point in wasting our glass nine. Potentially breaking it. If something bad were to happen. We can get out of the round without it. So, there's no need to risk breaking it. Okay, um... It's there and it's cheap. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, all right. Fine with that. And I'm also mildly fine with it. Um, the Celestial Pack. The Celestial Pack. Um, you know, two pair is an up-and-comer. It's an up-and-comer. What can I say? It My Seltzer would be pretty good going into the last round. Retriggering every card for 10 hands. It would definitely get us through, but I think we, I think we can make it just fine on our own. I'm not expecting this to go much further than anti eight, so probably my plan is to sell four fingers, <laughs> maybe even hanging Chad. No, definitely four fingers, because I find I can do pretty well without it, and if you play five cards anyway, you're getting you're getting things. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Okay, that's making two pair, maybe, our hottest hand. So, okay, we got to sell a Joker. So, bye-bye, Four Fingers. Okay. Ten Jack, King, Ace. We're actually looking at a pretty reasonable straight chance here. But I think two pair is going to come out. Yeah. Two pair, don't call it a comeback, but it's come from behind to be our hottest hand. And why not throw the eight molt on there? just for funsies i think we might get out of here if not in one close to a single okay well halfway but still like look at we're doing we're doing totally fine here uh we want the queen to go first because she's got she's got lovely little markings all over her that make her nice and multi there we go so yeah the black deck not so bad the black deck is a pretty good one we're not going to make it much farther than this but of course of course you want to play endless run and see how far you can take it look at that and we've got a slot for it so straights coming our way very nice uh might as well take the high card while we're here uh what have we got planet cards appearing more frequently i mean we'll level up what we can but i think the best call here is high card God forbid I should ever have to play high card, but I can at least score four things off of it. They're both on even ground. I think I'm going to go for... We're going to take another visit to the toilet, I think. Here we go. Going in. Next Joker is free, and it's polychrome. Next Joker is free, and it's negative. Um, oh, and the Psychic. We have to play five cards anyway. So let's see how well we do... Let's see how well we do in a situation like this. Okay. Uh, we didn't get the flush, but we got the two pair. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even look to see if we had a gap straight. So, but two pair is ideal anyway. So, in the absence of any fun molts, trigger the ace first. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to get out of here in like a good three hands. Maybe the blind will be a little tougher. Short. Okay, that's just gap. It's not... Well... Sorry, I had to get rid of four fingers, actually, then. Um, let's go ahead and make a discard of, like, this. Two pair is what I want to go for at this point. This is That's the 
that's the hot hand so yeah it's gonna take it's gonna take a good three to get where we want at this point um and then let's go ahead too bad that won't re-trigger but well we'll get more chips from this one it's gonna be a low two pair but it's gonna be a, a fun one at least there we go lots of chips Wow, that was actually a better two pair than any of our other two pairs. I think, if I was watching correctly. So here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it's time to get rid of something. Gap straights are going to be much easier to make. Do we need to be re-triggering things? I think it's helping some. But you need to be able to scale. And what better way to do that than by timesing? Come on, Blueprint, join the party. Uh, we've already won the run, so you're kind of just here. You're just kind of here for the after party, but why not? What's the biggest thing I have here? Here we go. All right. Um, and a Jumbo Arcana pack. Uh, I don't know. Skip this. So we're getting 3.75 times 3.75. I think Blueprint may have just taken this run into the stratosphere. Yep, got to make it, got to make it five. Otherwise, doesn't score. That's the that's the Psychic's game. All right, yeah, we're much closer to reaching something good. So there we go. Fabulous. I am digging it. Oh, wow, it still took three hands to get there, though. I mean, I mean, good thing, good thing Splash is, I think Splash is kind of helping here, to be honest. Uh, let's go for a club flush if we can. We got a lot of discards, so... Two pair still the best hand? No, a straight actually is the best hand. A flush is actually kind of weak. So if we get... You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of these. That's a tarot. Eight, nine, jack, king, ace. Yeah, gap straight. Put this at the front. There we go. Perfect. That's going to make that really nice. Wow. And it did. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Getting, getting very serious here. So straights are what we want. And we might even be able to make a little money on the back end here. Fibonacci. Fun early on, but okay. Yeah. We need to make sure we're playing straights. And we've got, okay. We've got a couple standard packs. One even a mega. Um, okay, go for that, and maybe this. Flushes aren't what we're doing, but I'm just kind of adding cards to the deck to make Hologram Pump. So there we go. Next round. Next round, we got to reach 560. We've proven we're more than capable of that. This became a pretty solid run all of a sudden. 710 Queen. No, we want straights. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Lovers turns one into a wild card. Ten, jack, queen. Ten, queen, king. Let's go ahead and discard these for maybe a better get. There we go. Oh, we don't even have to. Well, we probably should make the gap, actually. Nine, ace, king, queen, ten. Do I want to turn something into something? I'm not really interested in that at this point, and I don't need that. So let's try to make some money while we're here. Okay, there we go. And we're going to make money off of our scoring face cards. Oh, hey, I just heard that glass breaking sound. That's, there we go. Hey, I leveled up straight. How about? Loving it, loving it. Uh, standard pack. Standard pack is going to be the first one we open because it's very important that we up the hologram. Okay, if we're going for everything scoring, uh, it might be nice. To, uh, let's just take the standard one, actually. I don't know if I'm in a place where I'm going to discard stone cards or not. Uh, it looks like a flush is my most played hand, so Saturn is not appearing. Uh, although that may change here soon. Uh, I don't know. Next round, no money, so let's go for it. A free Mega Celestial. 
I think I can make the big money off the mark. All face cards are face down, so we'll just have to make low straights to make things happen. Although we could just play all the face cards and see if, if we get a hit. Um, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see if this is a bad move or not. Okay, well, okay. Okay, we were tied. I think we were tied for maybe. Oh, yeah, and that. Maybe it was a tie between Saturn and Jupiter for our most played thing. Let's say face cards are drawn face down. Uh, two, three, four, six, nine. Uh, that's not a whole lot. I not enough of a gap here. Let's get rid of all of these. Two, three, four, six, ten. That could be, that's either, oh, we're taking a big risk. Um, yeah, I'm going to be discarded, so maybe I should have taken ace, two, three, four. No, not that one. Six. There we go. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So the chip counts are high. We're definitely dealing in some high in some high chippery here. So two, five, six, seven, nine. In the absence of anything better, I'm going to have to play a two pair. Maybe that's not the worst thing ever. It doesn't get us out of the round though. Seven, nine, ten. I'm gonna have to rely on this being a straight. If this is a king, I may be sunk, but if it's a jack or a queen. We get out of here. Wait a minute. Okay, so 10, Jack, Queen, Jack. I'm going to go for this and hope this is either a Queen or a Jack. Yes. Okay, good. Ooh, that was a total guess. That could have gone really wrong for us, but it did it. And here we are at anti 11, which I consider that's kind of winning for me, anti 11. Uh, beyond that, you have to be doing some really exponential shenanigans i don't think i need that i need this more than anything currently a lot of incentive to hold this in my hand but it's just at okay how far are we okay we're taking times four times four the only way we're going to move this blueprint is if hologram somehow manages to get any higher and i don't have any money for anything else so it's kind of it's kind of moot so okay 10 million 800 chips i believe this is where you know what we might as well try to shoot the moon i think uh make a ton of money while we're at it so 4.5 times 4.5 all the face cards are debuffed let's give it the run of our lives baby um discard that 10 queen five eight ten no that's pretty low but this is pretty high so i feel inclined to play it let's see what it gets us okay that's pretty high but it's not 14.4 million high so i think this is the run where we say goodbye uh it's been it's been a heck of a been a heck of a a treat I'll say that for sure. Two pair, another two pair, yeah. Straights are going to be where it's at, but I'm not really getting the gap straights. Well, now here I am. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And even that is not too much higher. So we're not besting anti 11, but I guess technically you can say we made it to the end. Uh, I've got one more good discard in me. Do you have it? Do you have it in you to give me the straight game? Sadly, you do not. So I'm going to play <laughs> a debuffed two pair. That makes me feel awesome. Well, we'll never see what that negative joker was, but we can definitely say for sure that we won. So moving on next time. Uh, I think we're out of color decks at this point. And just, you know, just plain color backs like red, green, all that. And after that, we start getting into the weirder ones. You'll love to see it. See you guys next time.